Jesse Jackson Jr. and his wife Sandy are both headed for prison. The former congressman will serve his time first two and a half years before former Chicago Alderman Sandy Jackson spends one year behind bars. She did not speak publicly following the sentence. Her husband did. Today I manned up and tried to accept responsibility for the errors of my ways. We have complete coverage of the Jackson's sentencing, including what he just told us exclusively on the phone tonight. So let's begin live in Washington, D.C. That's where ABC 7's Ben Bradley was in the courtroom as the judge announced her decision. Ben. Alan, Kathy, Jesse Jackson Jr.'s sentence was half the maximum he faced and a year less than what prosecutors wanted. But the judge said it wasn't the bipolar diagnosis that earned him leniency, but rather Jackson's decision to do what most defendants do not, and that is to plead guilty early in an investigation. From congressman to convicted felon, Jesse Jackson Jr. is going to prison while asking for compassion. I still believe in the power of forgiveness. I believe in the power of redemption. Today I manned up and tried to accept responsibility for the errors of my ways. It was a tearful, remorseful, and emotional Jackson who begged the judge to spare his wife prison time. Give me her time, he pled. What she did was a subset of what I did, a culture I allowed to exist. No one's celebrating today, obviously. The fall from grace is complete. Sandy Jackson also delivered a tear-filled apology, but the judge labeled her a near-equal partner in her husband's pilfering of his campaign fund. For seven years, they skimmed $750,000, paying for everything from home appliances to vacations, furs, even routine Costco runs. We very much were hoping for probation, However, I will tell you this, <clears throat> that Sandy Jackson and her family are very grateful to the judge for the fact that they have Sandy's prison sentence will be served after Jesse Jackson serves his sentence. The Reverend Jesse Jackson and other family members cried in court as Jesse Jr. apologized for hurting the family name. As for his own family, the judge asked the former congressman why he requested a prison camp far from Washington where his wife and school-aged children live. He responded, I asked for Alabama so I could be as far away from everybody as I could be for a while. I still believe in the resurrection. Jesse Jackson Jr. won't begin serving his prison sentence until November. Between now and then, he said he'll work very hard and expects to be able to raise the three-quarter of a million dollars that he now owes the federal government. Live in Washington, Ben Bradley, ABC 7 News. Alan, back to you. All right, Ben.